Hi there and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about instancing and a nice little script that will help you do that. So let's get started. So first of all I'm going to make a box and I'm going to give it a few segments and what we're going to do is we're going to shift drag it and we could choose copy or reference but in this case we're going to use uh, instance so click on instance I'll make a few of them and you can see if I then use the sliders over here under the parameters all of the instances will change okay so let's say you want to go sub object convert this to an editable poly and again we'll make a few instances of it so whichever box that we work on the others will update which is pretty handy cool so what we want to do now let's say we've got um, we've got a scene and we've placed a load of boxes around the scene and we want, what we want to do is make a, an object that will replace all of these boxes. So something like, let's say, say a teapot. Let's say we made this amazing model. And we now want to have the teapot in all of these locations. So what we do is first select the teapot, then select the boxes. And then we run a really handy little script called inst Instance-O-Matic which has been out for a very long time but it's very handy and I suggest that people go out and get it. So what we're going to do is just run the script and you'll notice that all of these get updated. And because it's an instance you can change it like you could the boxes. So anyway I'll, uh, I'll link you guys to the to the script and uh, I hope it helps somebody out. Thanks for watching. Cheers.